Hey everyone, welcome back. We're going to be working on our search. So what I have here, I just want to, before I get into it, I have this little carrot gif that I found on a um, on Google Images actually. So I'm going to be using that here, which is going to be really cool. So I'll show you how that's going to play out. So the first thing I want to do is when I go to search, I'm actually going to bring this home screen again and bring this down. And what I'm going to do is when I click search, I want to do something like that. Beautiful. And my search should come in from the bottom on top. And then when I click done, I want it to move out. When I click on here, I want to be in an active state. So we can just go with a smart animate. Like now that we are working like really quickly on a lot of this stuff, it's like, you know, it's like second nature. We're just like going over and over again, easily like, you know, cleaning up a lot of these things and just it, like we know how to link all these prototypes. So I'm excited. And so when I click on here, I just like, we can do a whole type thing, but I mean, when you click on here, we will, obviously move in this direction because that is what is going to happen when I click exit I'm going to move out and down when I go back I'm going to move back to this we are just going to not smart animate but we'll just dissolve it so that way we keep things, you know, pretty clean. I'm not worried too much about Smart Animate there. And I'm not going to do anything. So we can do like the sad flow, like, oh no, you don't have any results. But I'm actually going to delete this for now. When I click on this once more, what's going to happen is I'm going to go this way. And then we'll have a dissolve. Perfect. And then we can, you know, select filters if we want to. So when I select that filter, I want to open this like an overlay. Let's see, <laughs> on tap and navigate to open overlay right at the bottom, bottom center. And that's going to be perfect. I'm going to just bump that background up really nicely. So I want this to just pop right in from the bottom and we can go ahead and you know just make that just a smidge shorter like that so let's see how this is going to start to play out oh i didn't even put a new flow there we go and we can call this our fourth flow we'll just call this search a pretty important part of our flows okay so i got search beautiful love it if I click done, okay, so that's one problem. So when I click done, instead of moving in, we gotta move out. So just wanna make sure, same thing here. Okay, I already have it set that way. So that was just a one little mistake. So I'm gonna click there, beautiful. If I click there, I see that carrot flashing, which is another beautiful little micro interaction that we're witnessing. You know, you click, and then we have this dissolve state. Now we can close it, you know, do the same thing, but okay, beautiful. And so when we click it, we have this list. Now, the one problem now we have with this list is that we have no vertical scrolling. So it would be nice to have that stick at the top. So what we can do here is we can just, let's go into our, our body over here. This is going to be at the very top. So I just use my open bracket or you can just send it to the front like that. And then I'm going to my design and I'm going to make sure that this is selected in its fixed position. So let's see what happens. See now everything, you know, scrolls behind it. So that's beautiful. And if we open up our filters, oops, 
Let's uh, go back to our prototype just to make sure. Yes. Okay, open overlay. Perfect. So let's restart that. Boom, 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 boom. Crazy that it's not working. Let's go back. Okay. On tap. Let's close this. Let's see if we can get it to just go on the entire area in here. Beautiful. Move in from the top. Okay. Beautiful. 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 There we go. And now we have that overlay coming right in. Awesome. And that is how you create some pretty cool independent flows for your high fidelity designs. Don't be afraid to make like 10, 20 flows because now we need to go in and think about like little things like clicking interactions, how certain things may look like that, you know, scrolling behaviors right now, I haven't set it up in, in this prototype, but the easiest way to do something like that is, you know, to go into your prototype, make sure that it isn't like an auto layout frame here. And, you know, you can actually start really cleaning it up so you can, you know, make this fixed uh, piece within your body and like this. So we have this as a fixed position at the very top. And then we maybe have this as a fixed position at the very bottom. And then let's see. So almost. And this whole section, this whole container, that's, we can do 24 pixels. So that way it goes, oops. Perfect. We can do vertical scrolling on this container that has all our items. And there you go. And that is how you create a little vertical scrolling container. Awesome. Great job, everyone. We've made some pretty cool prototypes here.